Oh yeah, I forgot to add these. And this. After you've cut this out, with a stencil and a marker, and of course scissors, you'll have this, your hairpiece. This is what will go into your head. This is your head, here. As you can see, you're balding. But you haven't given it a chance to grow long enough to make this hair look convincing. So you'll also need this throughout the time that you're growing it back. In the meantime, you're gonna stick that motherfucker to your head. First of all, you gotta shave off the excess, giving it a nice, firm attachment space. Because trying to stick lace down onto this will cause the hairs to show through the holes. You'll need several of these because you're gonna cut this hair very short. And as it grows longer, you're gonna to have to get longer ones. This is one month's regrowth after completely shaving my head completely. It's always scary. Because you thought you'd decided that you'd go on natural. But you were just postponing the inevitable because you know hair looks better, despite what your mum told you. Now you take your hairband and you hold the hairs back. In this case, they're so small that it's probably not going to do much. To empty the hairs out of the blade, you just tap it against the side of the ins inside of the basin while you're running hot water through it. That knocks out the little stubble pieces. Now what I generally do is I spray alcohol. Just alcohol without any flavoring in it, I guess. Pure alcohol. I kind of feel like it will help evaporate off any skin oil. Then what you want to do is get Walker Ultra Hold. It's a very messy brush that these guys give you. You're better off with a brand new one. That's unrealistic. Start at the top, or the back, further back on your head. 
You need to do all that first. Neatly following around the hairline. You want to try to get it exact without getting hairs trapped in. You want to leave an exposed part that doesn't have any glue in it at the front because that always requires tweaking and you want to have room to play to fix it at the end. People suggest that you mark it with an eyeliner pencil or something but then you're stuck with that brown eyeliner underneath and it's just impossible to get out. The other thing you do is mark it with a comb. But it's hard for me to measure because I end up grabbing it from the back and stretching it down so the, the placement can never be accurate until it's done. And because I'm not accurate with my scissors when I'm cutting out the stencils or cutting out the hair pieces, that means every piece is different. some hair stuck in here so I'm just going to use the comb to pry them out. Don't bother trying to remove the glue from your hair until it's dry. It's much easier to get out after it's dry. actually use this to your advantage because I know that'll come out later. My fingernails. Just gonna make sure that doesn't clump. I'm gonna wait for 15 minutes. Sorry to keep you waiting, I've been gone for about an hour and a half. I was playing Jones in the fast lane. Now I'm going to take this hair piece and I'm going to put water all over it. Shake off the excess. Shake off the excess in the bar. I'm going to take the uh, alcohol spray. myself some uh, time to make it stick. Check along the edge here to see if any hairs are protruding out through the bottom of the lace. And now I'm going to place this down on the edge that has been cut into shape at the top of my forehead. My girlfriend left me when I went bald by the way. I took off my hair piece and uh, we texted a couple of times after that, but that was the end of the relationship. You just don't look as good as a whinger. And you haven't got hair. Take the brush. All my friends look like shit. What happened, man? You look so much better with long hair. You know what my mum said? Oh my god, you look so great, it looks fantastic. You should keep it with that, you should not put on the fake hair. Guess who wins? The people who are telling the truth. Not my mum. She wants me to learn to cope with my disabilities. Not have a prosthetic. Hairpiece. 
So I probably should have slid that before it had a few seconds for the alcohol to dry underneath. So after about 30 seconds, that ought to be strong enough for me to brush it back so I can start gluing the front. How straight did I stick it on? Bend. Alcohol. Comb. Works better than tweezers. There's no real place for tweezers in this whole operation, really. You can achieve usually everything that tweezers would with a comb. Didn't be able to stick very well, huh? I know it was glued, so I'm just going to put that back there like that. And press it down a bit. And while it's drying over there, I'll get started. Putting down some glue over this side. Okay, so it's been about half an hour, and as you can see, it's just tacky now, it's not wet. So it's perfect. Of course, the people who have seen me 
with my bald head recently. Stupid decision to go out there in public thinking that I wasn't going to change my mind. I have changed my mind. I'm going back to wearing hair again, obviously. They will know instantly if they see me with a full head of hair all of a sudden. So I'm going to have to really cut it short. Or wear a hat around them, but not around the people who are new, like strangers. And given that my girlfriend's broken up with me and I'm going to go back into internet dating, those new people might as well see a man liking his pictures with hair rather than some bald loser. top section here, because there's so contrasting a gap between the no hair and the hair, it's going to be difficult. It's basically a matter of brushing it back. And I'd prefer to do that because there's really no escape. There's no wearing it forward and then leaving that. So I'm basically just going to have to wear a hat and keep the hair long like this after I've finished fixing it up. That's what I think I'll do. And also I'm going to cut up based on all the comments that I've received around the edges once I've glued it back down so that the hairline is not too young, you know what I mean? That would be I'll just do what I normally do, you can just watch. It's just that the, the camera angle here is looking up so you can't really get a good perspective. Although I don't want to glue this down because I'm going to cut it. Although, yeah, it's just easier not to have to wash off the glue with your finger. You've just got to do this all the time until it comes off. I, I might as well cut first. Despite the, um, the constant effort that I'm going to have to keep going to now because I've got stick on hair again, I'm glad I've made this decision. Very glad. I, I hate being bald. And I don't know how much longer I could have waited for my hair to become all nutty professor, you know, growing all long around the back and sides and then have nothing at the front. There's just no good time for it. You've just got to basically do it and then wear a hat until it, your, the rest of your hair's grown back. And just really, as I said, don't go out of the house or go on a holiday or something because you really can't have people who've seen you with a balding head to suddenly have grown hair overnight. It's too, it's too obvious. But if your hair has grown over time and they haven't seen you in a while, it's not like they're going to go back and cross-examine previous photos of you. Hopefully they, they don't exist. Why pull your baldy photos off Facebook?
Now this brush is way too big and messy for such a small amount of space. So I'm going to use a <coughs> cotton bud. You do need two hands for this. I'm not exactly sure how I'll cut this afterwards. I'm thinking of keeping a brush back, like I said. And of course, wearing a hat with its brush back, no one will see the front hairline that I've suddenly grown four inches of hair. In a single day. At the age of 40, I only get an opportunity to socialize once every six weeks or so anyway, so it's not difficult for me to hide from people. Nobody wants to see me in the first place. I just found out that all my high school friends are speaking to each other on Facebook, all the ones that stopped talking to me when I was depressed in hospital, the ones who never visited in hospital, they, um, they've maintained friendships with each other. My mum had convinced me that they all just moved apart and that's what happens when you get older. If she hadn't said that, I probably would have made, taken action and done something about it. That's how destructive it can be to say what people want to hear. Instead of giving them the truth and helping them make changes. There's absolutely zero people in my life who recommend doing what I'm doing now. And I can tell you, you're probably in the same situation. Just don't tell anyone. Do it first, ask questions later. Fifteen minutes. Okay, it's been fifteen minutes. I don't know any other way to get this glow off except by doing this with my finger. And you've got to get it off because it gets really dirty. Appears to be a bit of lace with some really short hairs to a part of the cutting earlier. You've got to cut them off. It really is alarming after this last month to see how much less respect I received, 
Having been a street performer for 15 years, I became quite a sociologist, observing what make, made people respond more or less to different clothing and whether I had a beard and all that sort of stuff. It makes all the difference in the world. It's really quite considerable how much different people treat you when you look different. It is the main motivation for them to treat you in a particular way. People might talk about things that require people to meet you first and talk to you first, but that's, that's way secondary. If you already present well, then you have all those added benefits of personality as well on top of that, on top of that. So don't think that personality matters more than looks. It's secondary. You need to have a good personality as well. Number one rule, don't be depressed like I have been in my life. People just fucking don't give a shit and they don't want to be around you. So, it's better if you just shut up <laughs> and only say happy things, even if you hate it, the person who's uh, interacting with you. I seriously took a massive chunk out up there, I should have left that. Now if my hair was long in the other places, and naturally long behind this, I'd just sweep this all forward and make a nice fringe out of it to cover over all this crap and not worry about it too much. Given that my head is shaved at the back, that's got to be covered. I haven't exactly got some hair product lying around. I put it all away. So I'm just going to, just for now, grab some hair conditioner and use it for styling. We'll see how much this annoys me throughout the day, and um, after that, I um, might give myself a haircut. Don't trust a step. Don't tra don't trust a, a hairdresser to know what to do with this. They'll cut it so short that it'll just stick up. To blend with the rest of your hair and it won't work and they won't, it won't blend and they'll they'll be like this yep yep that's fine and then they won't want to even look at it because they've fucked it permanently you yeah. to replace your hairpiece so thankfully the knots on this aren't too bad. Not too good yet. Like I said, I'm gonna have to wait for a, um, a month or so before I reveal it. I guess it's only gonna be, the, it's, it's probably gonna take me two months, two or three months, before I can stop wearing a hat. In the meantime, this is my look. But at least I know when I take this off and look in the mirror, I'm not gonna look like a fucking freak again. I hate baldness, not on other people, if they do it right, and they're not pale, that. But on myself, I hate it. 
So I don't think I'll be going on any dates for the next two months, so just be isolated. Well, you can see the decision I made. I shaved my head, left it for a month, I went out bald in public, exposed my head to everybody I knew, and then uh, still went and changed my mind.